In this tutorial I will cover the interpolate controller in Para 2.8. So let's start by drawing a line. And I'm going to make this a closed spline, but you can use an open spline if you'd like. Um, I'm also going to open up the line and go to the vertex subobject level, select all my vertices and make sure they're corner vertices, although you can use Bezier or Smooth or Bezier corner, it doesn't matter, but for this example I'll use corner vertices. And then when you're done you get out of the subobject level. I'm also going to add an edit mesh modifier which provides a good base um, when working in Para 2.8 for adding additional edit poly modifiers. So I always start by adding an edit mesh modifier if I'm going to work with edit polys. Um, and then you can add any number of edit polys on top of the edit mesh. When working with these edit polys you can control any of the edit geometry tools on the right um, for the various sub-object levels um, if you animate them and then use a controller to control that property. So for this example we're going to animate uh, the polygon sub-object level and use our inset tool. So I'm going to select the setting button on the right of the inset icon. I'm going to select the polygon and I'm going to inset that some amount. This amount will change using a parametric controller in Para 2.8 later, but um, so for now you can just start with a random number and then I'll commit that and then again you want to make sure you're animating this edit poly. I also think it's a good idea to rename these edit polys so I'm going to rename this inset and that will allow me to recognize it easier in the Para 2.8 menu so I'll rename this one inset. I'm also going to add a delete mesh modifier which will delete this mesh but keep that deletion as a modifier instead of hitting the button delete this allows it to be turned on and off. Um, and then on top of that I'll add another edit poly and then a shell modifier to give it thickness. I'll also turn on my edged faces so you can see the thickness a little better. Okay now we have our base component so I'm going to parametric uh, use parametric array to array this. So um, I have mine set up in my quad menu so I can either select array or update array but to create array I have a tool set up in my toolbar so I'll hit pair up here. This is going to be a linear array of only 1D, so I'm only going to put in a value here and I'm going to type in 40. That'll give me 40 um, arrays of this one object, and I'll keep it as a copy and create array. I could turn this on or off. Uh, for this example, I'll just turn it off so it'll delete the original object. Once you have these settings set, hit create. And it might take a little while to create that array. You, you do want to uh, apply transformations to the vertices. We are going to add an interpolate controller, so we will want to be able to adjust those vertices, so hit yes. And then the first thing we want to do is transform the position of this to make it a linear um, array. So as you can see, my gizmo has a Y and X a Z. I'm going to make this Z in the vertical direction, this array in the vertical direction. So I'm going to apply the linear controller to the Z position. Type in linear controller and drag the linear controller to the controller there. And the next thing I want to do is uh, select incremental and then set my distance. I'm only using a one dimensional array, so I just want to set D1. And then I can choose a value here, update this controller, um, and you can see what the spacing is. If you want to reduce that spacing, you can type in a new value here and then update that controller again. Let's go with something around 10 and update that. So now we have our um, linear array. The next thing I want to do is add an interpolate controller to the vertices of this component. So I'll turn off my Z position, open up my object, select my line, and then I want to select my master points for this object. So if you select master, it's going to give you this option if you want to select Bezier handles. You don't want to select those. Um, this is a corner vertice, but um, either way, you only want to control the main vertices. So I'm going to say no, and it will automatically select only the vertices and not the Bezier handles. So in the controller here, I want to use the interpolate controller. So I'll type in INT and drag interpolate controller into the window. And, uh, copy is OK. The next thing I want to do is select um, a few of these components to guide the interpolation of this controller. So I'll select, let's say, four of these and hit this button here, collect here, or click here to add selected items. That'll then add uh, each of those components into a list. And then by selecting one of these items from the list, 
it'll uh, bring up the item in the modifier stack um, which will allow me to change the vertex position and the shape of this um, particular component. So when you're done with that you can um, update the controller and you'll see that the whole geometry shifts and change to blend between um, the first controller I selected, the second, and the third. Um, so I can also change any of the other ones that I added to the, the list by selecting them from the list and then modifying their vertex position. When I'm done, I get out of this object, update controller, and you can see the whole geometry when I update the controller changes. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is deselect uh, all the vertices and then go into my shell modifier here. And within the shell, you can see that I added um, an outer amount of 1. If I change this value to 3, for example, you can see the thickness of the shell increases. Um, so I'm going to control that thickness with a graph controller. So to do that, you just select the blank spot here, type in graph controller, drag that into the controller window, and then you could change the values of this graph. And what I want to do is have, let's say, a thickness of 2 um, at the base, but then I want it to get thicker in the middle and then thin again at the top. So to do that, I can change these values. Um, this represents the bottom of my array, the middle of my array, and the top of my array. So for the bottom, I'll type in 2. For the middle, I'll select that uh, middle uh, vertex there on the graph, and I'll type 8. And then let's type 2 again for the other side. And you can hit this button here to zoom the extents of that graph. So you can see it's going to go from, oops, let me type 8 again. Um, you can see that it's going to go from 2 to 8 to 2. And I could add additional vertices on this graph by using this button here if I wanted to add an additional point, let's say there. Or you can also remove points by selecting the points and deleting them. That'll let you control the, the shape of this graph a little better. You can also select vertices and then change them um, based on what vertex type you want to use as well. So when I hit update now, you'll notice that the thickness of that shell is now changing and varying from 2 at the base to 8 in the middle and then back to 2 at the top. I could do the same thing for the, if I deselect the shell and I go into my inset and then my inset amount, uh, I could change that inset amount as well using a controller. So let's also use a random controller. So I'll type in uh, random, drag the random controller onto the, the controller window, and you can see now uh, that the thickness is varying from 0 to 1. Um, if I wanted to vary it with a sort of greater range, I could type in, let's say, 3 or 5 here, update, uh, and then we could even go up to you know 20 here. And you can see now that each of these ribs is varying um, the thickness of each of them is varying randomly uh, based on these two numbers. So every time I update, it'll give me a new arrangement of these random uh, rib insets.